I'm coming home to Nigeria after being away for 18 years in uh, in America. My parents didn't want me to go. My friends didn't want me to go because Nigeria could be dangerous. Next time it won't take so long. Although a lot of time on National Geographic they show children running around naked, that's not what all Nigeria is. We have a gym like this here in the Radisson Blue. It's really sad because I'm here, but most Nigerians would never see this. Nigeria is still one of the top ten oil producers in the world, but most of that money from the oil is frozen at the top. Most of the people don't have access to this money. People are hungry in the streets. I believe our youth in Nigeria is in danger. Most of them live in abject poverty because there is no middle class. I want to provide fitness facilities for them to keep them out of trouble and off the streets. In order for this to work, I have to get out there and I have to meet the locals. I have to get in with the locals. So I want to find out where these guys train. I want to see the raw gyms. I want to see like the real deal where, you know, these guys train. save our youth, we need to empower the youth because they are our future. And um, I think that it can be done. A lot of them getting into all kinds of trouble. You know, setting up a, a, an organization or a facility where they can come and get out that aggression. I mean, Nigeria is tough sometimes. <laughs> They don't have to actually be fighters, you know, just to come and learn hard work, discipline, and focus, and learn that this is what will help you succeed in all parts of your life.
you can do anything, anything you want to do. A lot of times people are going to tell you, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. Always drink big. Don't drink small. to meet you. There are a thousand ideas out there, but ideas are ideas. Unless you can see it through and actually make it happen and actualize it, make it physical. When I get into a project, I make sure I see it through. Thank you so much. We have facilities that um, we are going to be not make enough use of. So we are always willing to, you know, there, I'm sure there are different ways we can. Um, the commissioner loved the idea and he's on board. We have great athletes, the guys work hard, they're hungry. What we're missing is the high level of coaching. So if we can uh, teach them how to score in an Olympic point system, then they're going to do much better. Ten times. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Wow. Even without all the fancy equipment we have in America, these guys are here working hard. We won't be able to do anything in boxing without these guys. I mean, look around. There's not much here. We're going to change the way things are here. And keep supporting Mushin Boxing. And what's that, Dragon? Young Star. Young Star Boxing. Young, and up Young Star Boxing. Young Star Boxing. Young Star Boxing.